How desperate is the right-wing noise machine to discredit the New York Times article that debunks the myths about Benghazi? Well, <laughs> now they're citing fake stories to claim that the reporter was involved in pornography. <music> Folks, this is truly comical. The right-wing noise machine is so upset, so outraged that someone would actually report facts instead of right-wing smears about Benghazi, that they are now trying to smear the reporters involved. They're investigating these reporters to find bias and to discredit them as human beings. Well, the good folks over at The Daily Caller actually printed a story saying essentially, well, you can't listen to the New York Times reporter or story on this because the reporter in college posed nude and was somehow involved in a, a Playgirl <laughs> magazine. Well, guess what? That was a joke. Uh, it was in a joke newspaper, had nothing to do with reality. The reporter in question never uh, appeared in Playgirl. I guess it was a gentleman. <laughs> it never appeared in Playgirl. It was all a joke and the folks at Daily Caller just went with it. Folks, here's what's going on. If you followed this at all, the New York Times did a massive investigative story about Benghazi. And what they found out is all these books and all this hour, hundreds of hours of Fox News, all predicated on lies. And from Charles Krauthammer on down, all the conservatives are now attacking the New York Times, saying this story is essentially 100% fraudulent and was done just to protect Hillary Clinton. Therefore, it's illegitimate. But remember, folks, in conservatives' minds, all media is illegitimate unless it discredits Hillary Clinton and Democrats and liberals. Media, journalism, is only legitimate if it attacks, vilifies, smears Democrats and liberals. It's only legitimate if it props up conservatives. And folks, that's a pretty warped, pathetic, uh, frankly Stalinistic view of the media, but that's what is infected the modern conservative mind in America today.